The Fugo balloon bomb was the first weapon with intercontinental range, and its flights were the longest ranged attacks in warfare history at the time. Japan had developed a 6 meter, 20 foot, prototype capable of flying at 25,000 feet 7, meters, for more than 30 hours by March 1943. Five thin layers of washi, a durable paper derived from the paper mulberry bush, were glued together with kenyaku, Japanese potato, paste to make the balloons. Thousands of teenage girls from high schools across the country were mobilized to laminate and glue the sheets together, with final assembly and inflation tests taking place in large indoor arenas. Engineers then looked into the feasibility of launching balloons against the U.S. from the Japanese mainland, a distance of at least 6,000 miles 9, kilometers. Engineers attempted to exploit strong seasonal air currents discovered flowing from west to east at high altitude and speed over Japan, which became known as the jet stream. The final balloon design had a diameter of 10 meters, 33 feet, a gas volume of 19,000 cubic feet, 540 cubic meters, and a lifting capacity of 300 pounds, 140 kilograms, at operating altitude. The most common bombs carried were two 11-pound, 5.0 kilograms, thermite incendiary bombs made up of steel tubes with ignition charges. During their three- to four-day voyage, the balloons used a sophisticated sandbag ballast system to maintain altitude while they flew on currents over the Pacific Ocean that are now known as the jet stream. Due to the wet winter weather, the bombs were mainly ineffectual as fire starters, resulting in very modest destruction and six civilian fatalities from a single occurrence in Oregon in May 1945. Fighters from the Navy and Army Air Forces were dispatched on many occasions to try and intercept balloons, but they were unsuccessful due to false sighting reports, bad weather, and the balloon's extremely high height of flight. Less than 20 of the balloons were downed by airplanes in total. Additionally, a significant portion of the recovered balloons had unexploded blowout plugs, which were either caused by battery failures or fuses. Between November 1944 and April 1945, the Imperial Japanese Army launched about 9,300 balloons from sites on Honshu, of which about 300 were found or observed in the US and Canada, with some in Mexico. The first balloons were launched at 0500 on November 3, 1944. Two weeks after the discovery of the balloon off San Pedro, other balloons continued to be discovered across North America, in northern Mexico, and at sea by ships. On March 10, 1945, one of the Fugo balloons descended near Toppenish, Washington, causing a short circuit in power lines supplying the Manhattan Project's manufacturing facility at the state's Hanford Engineer Works. Backup generators restored power to the site, but it took three days for the nuclear reactors to reach full capacity. Plutonium produced in the reactors was later used in Fat Man, the August 1945 atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki. Six civilians were killed near Bly, Oregon, on May 5, 1945, when they discovered one of the balloon bombs in Fremont National Forest, becoming the war's only fatalities in the continental United States. Reverend Archie Mitchell and his pregnant wife Elsie, age 26, took five of their Sunday school students to Gearhart Mountain for a picnic that day. Elsie and the kids discovered the balloon on the ground while Archie was moving the car. A large explosion occurred, killing the four boys, Edward Angen, 13, Jay Gifford, 13, Dick Patsk, 14, and Sherman Shoemaker, 11, while Joan Patsk, 13, and Elsie died several minutes later. The bomb had been kicked, according to a bomb disposal expert. The Mitchell Monument is located in the Mitchell Recreation Area, 50 miles, 80 kilometers, northeast of Klamath Falls, at the site of the explosion. Several Japanese civilians have visited the monument to express their condolences for the deaths that occurred here, and cherry trees have been planted as a symbol of peace around the monument. Following the war, the remains of balloons were discovered. Several were discovered in the 1940s, three in the 1950s, 
two in the 1960s, and one in the 1970s. According to U.S. interviews with Japanese officials conducted after the war, the campaign was undertaken almost entirely for home propaganda purposes, with the army having little hope for its effectiveness. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye.